In this Photoshop tutorial, we're going to take a brunette and change her into a blonde. And this is fairly easy to do. What you would need is, of course, is a picture with a brunette in it. And using the standard Photoshop tools, we'll better change her into a blonde in just a few minutes. So go ahead, if you like, to follow along and open up your own picture. If not, it's going to be a fairly painless process and fairly simple to remember. What we need to do first is select the hair or the area that we need to change the color up. And there's two ways of doing this. You can use the magic wand tool and try selecting the hair. But I'm going to be honest, this is not the preferred method. So let's try the pen tool. That's what I recommend everybody to use. I'm going to use the freeform pen tool. And you can select that by holding down the button and choosing freeform. You need to pick a beginning point to start at. So I'm going to take the very tip of her hair here. And once you start, you need to keep your left mouse button held down. So I'm going to go ahead and click here and keep my button held down. Now this technique doesn't require you to be extremely accurate with outlining the hair, so don't worry about it if it looks like scribble scrabble going around her head. There's only certain points of her head that you need to worry about more, and I'll tell you in a minute where that is. So let's go ahead and start tracing her hair. Okay, now when you need to worry about going out too far, like onto a darker surface, is where you need to be more careful. So when you're working in shadows or against a dark background, then your tracing has to be slightly more accurate than it normally would be. So as you tell here, I'm still just doing a fairly rough trace. I'd rather be too far away from her face than too close in this case because it is a dark shadow area and you'll see the results in a minute how easy this is and how well this turns out. Okay, so this is my pen tool drawing. I'm going to right click my pen tool now and tell it to make it a selection and you'll have an option menu come up. I'm going to take a default 2 pixel radius in any alias mode. Click OK. Now I'm going to hide my layer of the pen tool and select my hair layer or the picture itself. Next I'm going to hold down control and hit L and this brings up your color levels. Move this down a little bit so we can watch what happens. I'm going to take the slider and move it towards the darker color and you can see her hair changing almost instantly here. I don't want to go too far or it won't look real. But mm, that's probably a nice realistic look. Take my tool, click out. So there's our girl who's changed from a brunette to blonde. Now let's look at the original picture so you can compare the two. There's the original picture, there's the blonde. So you can tell there is a significant difference and this is a very easy way to do this. Now you can play up the levels more and take your time and cut in better than I did. But overall this is a very easy method. All we did was using the pen tool was outline her hair. Then we turned the pen tool into a selection by right clicking on the pen tool. And then we brought up the levels by hitting control L and moving to our layer and adjusting the levels. So that's it to turning a brunette into a blonde. 